You can use washing powder for many more things than just washing. In this video I show you 5 ingenious tricks that almost nobody knows but everyone should know. You'll look at washing powder differently afterwards. The first really ingenious trick is to boil washing powder on the hob. This will help you with two problems at once. If you have pots or pans that are badly burned like this pot, then you can get rid of them with a little washing powder. To do this, add a small amount of water to your pan so that all the burned areas are now under water. Then add a very small amount of washing powder. Stir everything well and bring it to the boil. It should simmer gently for about 5 to 10 minutes. After a while you will notice that all the burned on bits will come off and you will only have to tip everything away at the end. But it also has another advantage. You can also remove unpleasant odors from your home by boiling the washing powder. In my case you can see that I have now boiled it well and tipped the liquid out once. If you can remember how dirty the pot was before you can now see that only small amounts of the burnt bits are left in the pot. And you can get these out with a gentle wipe. This means that they are already so loosened at the bottom that you can simply wipe them away. And that's how you get a very dirty pot really nice and clean again in the end even though it was really badly burned. This brings us to our second trick. For this one you need 150 grams of washing powder. Now put this into a larger container. We also need two more ingredients. One is the juice of half a lemon. Squeeze it out and add it to the mixture. We also need 75 milliliters of vinegar. Once you have put everything together, you should stir it well so that the washing powder is completely dissolved. Now grab a spray bottle and pour everything into this spray bottle. Because what you have now mixed is a cleaner that you can use to clean your entire bathroom. Spray some of it into your toilet for example and it will be really nice and clean again in the end. As you'll see in a moment, what you can also do of course is spray it onto your sink as well as on the taps or in your shower, on the tiles or on the shower tray. Leave it on for 5 minutes and then start cleaning everything again. For the toilet, grab the toilet brush, wipe everything thoroughly and flush again at the end. This will get the toilet really clean again. For your tap or other surfaces such as the tiles, all you have to do is wipe over again with water, rinse again and everything will shine beautifully again. You can now put the mixture itself in the cupboard and take it out whenever you need it. But have you ever thought of vacuuming up washing powder with a hoover? This is also a really ingenious trick. But first of course you should always make sure that you always keep the hoover really clean. If you still have one with a bag, you can replace the bag regularly. You should also replace the filter regularly. But if none of this helps and your hoover still smells bad, washing powder can actually help. All you need to do is spread a small amount of washing powder on a hard floor. Then grab your hoover and vacuum everything up completely. You'll notice that the hoover no longer stinks. On the contrary, every time you use your hoover, your whole hole will smell like freshly washed laundry. Instead of using the mixture from the second trick, you can also simply use washing powder in your toilet. But there's one very important thing to bear in mind. The first step is to make the toilet a little damp. It's best to flush it once so that there's really some of the water in the entire toilet bowl. Now spread the washing powder all over the toilet so that there is a small amount of it everywhere. It doesn't have to be that much washing powder. Two tablespoons should be enough. Now wait a few minutes for it to work in. And when it has done that, you should grab your toilet brush to give everything a good wipe. You notice that this cleans urine scale and lime scale deposits perfectly. Your toilet will look really nice and clean again and it will also smell pleasantly fresh. Just like freshly washed laundry. And for the next absolute insider tip, you should use washing powder in your wardrobe. To do this, you can take these little sachets and put some washing powder in them and then place them in a bowl in case anything leaks out. Of course you can also simply pour the washing powder directly into a small bowl which works just as well. Now take it to your wardrobe and put it in there. This will ensure that your entire wardrobe always smells of freshly washed laundry. Would you also like to know why you should spray shaving foam all over your bathroom? Then be sure to watch the video here. Click on it directly.